Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Saturday night, which means it's craft beer night. And the beer we're going for tonight is a collaboration between Track and North Park. This one, it is Neighbourhood 24. And Neighbourhood 24 is a triple dry hopped triple IPA weighing in at 10% ABV with a plethora of hops. Uh, they're listed as Citra, Citra 702, Citra Cryo, Matuika Cryo, Ruaka and Rakao Sub-Zero Hop Keef. Um, the only bit of blurb I can tell you about the beer is that it is thick, hazy and indulgent triple dry hopped IPA with a huge hop aroma. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Pick this one up from the House of Trembling Madness. Let's see how good it is. Let's get it out into a glass and see what I think. So, pouring into my teku, because I can, and the pour is... Hazy. That'll do, that'll do. So, it is hazy, it's orange in colour. Not as hazy as I thought it might be, but uh, a nice white head. That should be up close in a glass. Here we go. Let's have a whiff. That smells nice. All the citra today. It's soft. Sweet lemon, a little peachy. Oh, that's an interesting aroma. There, there are other things going on, but it's mostly stone fruit and a, and a big citrus hit. It's been sitting my nose in here all night, but that wouldn't really do for a good beer review video. Anyway. It looks all right. It smells really, really tasty. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Body is medium heavy. Carbonation is is there. It's not massive, but it's just a little pop. And the flavour is really good. It does have a good hop chew. There's no getting away from that. And the citrus doing all the hard work here. It's bright. It's zesty. And then behind that, it becomes almost mango, pithy. It's, it's juicy as hell. It's juicy as hell. Now... I like my triple IPAs, thick, heavy, hoppy as hell, and I like them bitter, but this is not bitter. This is so smooth, so easy drinking, zero sign of the 10% ABV. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's... dangerously easy to drink. That said, I do love the hop level. It is nice and hoppy. Beautiful, beautiful citrus flavours. Nice soft mango behind it. And it's just juicy for days on the back end. There is a little bit of dryness towards the finish as well. And, uh, and I quite like that. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. There are a few things I'd change, but on the whole, delicious. Utterly delicious. So, Neighbourhood 24. Track make brilliant beer. Is this going to be up there with the best of them? We shall find out. We shall. So we're going to go to the scoreboard of joy, which is currently bland, like so. Unlike the beer, red pen of judgment at the ready. Beer and glass. So, we have a little invader. We have a little fruit fly. Where did you come, little fruit fly? I'm going to be very drunk now. Anyway, the, uh, the pour, just to revisit, let's get a bit more of that head back in play if we can. 
try. There we go. There. Like I say, it's a nice orange colour. It's not too it's not too hazy. I was hoping for hazier. And a nice white head. Yeah. It looks good. Is there anything I'd change about that bit? No, I wouldn't. Um it's having a point. The aroma, it's beautiful. It's sweet, it's juicy, it's citrusy. You get, excuse me, a hint of the uh, the tropical mango <gasps> and hints of pineapple. It's a beautiful fruity beer. Um, and I like it. It's, uh, it's having a point. The body also is having a point. Uh, it's medium heavy. Carbonation is great. It's a lovely overall mouthfeel. Could it be heavier? Yes, it could. Um, would it really change much of the experience? No, it wouldn't. Um, so yeah, it's, it's worthy of a point. It's, it's spot on. That's exactly what I like. The flavour, the flavour though. It's nice. Very, very nice. Beautiful citrus, lovely soft mango, hint of pineapple. And for me, it's a big butt. And I cannot lie. Um, it needs bitterness. It is a very sweet beer. And I like my triple IPAs, my double IPAs, hell, even my regular IPAs. I like them on the bitter end of the spectrum. And it just needs a little bit of bitterness to bring a little bit more balance and take it away from the sickly sweet end down a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to give it the 0.75. It's superb though. It is absolutely delicious. Just needs bitterness. And the back end, it's all the juice. You get that lovely, beautiful hop flavour with all the lemon, all the tropical mango. And it's sweet. But there is a little dryness that brings just a little something different. And I like that, I do. Um, but again, I want bitterness. I really want a hint of the booze. It's 10% and there's no clue. Sometimes, even if you don't get it in the flavor, you get a little bit of burn on the back end and you've got nothing. It's dangerously, dangerously smooth. Uh, and again, it's gonna have the 0.75 um, because it just needs something, anything to tell me it's 10%. I mean, I could drink it all quickly and then have another one and really know about it but you know I want a hint of what I'm drinking anyway it's got four and a half out of five from me so we'll go to the bonus points it can't have the full bonus because it did not get a full five out of five would I buy it again I'm not sure I would I'm this is not to say it's a bad beer um, the reason I say I wouldn't is because it doesn't fit my exact requirements for a triple IPA. I want more bitterness and it's got none. Um, value for money. Can't remember what I paid for this. And uh, have I got my tick sheet in among my Warhammer stuff? Yes, I have. I have here. I paid 9 99 for this can. A whole tenner, less a penny. Um, it's beautiful, but I don't think it's worthy of a tenner's worth. Um, track have done many better beers than this one that really float my boat. Um, but this one, not quite so much, which is uh, unexpected, I'll be honest. Uh, but nevertheless, it's still got four and a half out of five from me. Look at that, right there. Four and a half. Um, because it's a really tasty drink. It's just missing a few key parameters that make it perfect for me um if you like them sweet and you like them citrusy then this beer is absolutely one you need to try if like me you prefer them more bitter and more hoppy and well not more hoppy but more hot bitterness should i say um then you're gonna maybe want to give this one a miss unless you like to experiment and have something a little bit sweet as a uh, as a palate cleanser but yeah, this is definitely one for those who like a stronger beer, but definitely don't want to know the drinking one, because you don't know your drinking one. This could easily be 4 or 5% and you wouldn't have a clue. Um, but yeah, 
there we go that's my honest opinion and that will remain so always that's been the beer i've been me those down there are the buttons you know exactly what to do with them by now you've got your like comment dislike and subscribe choose any combination of them as you wish and i'll see you again soon for another one bye for now